Base editing is one of the CRISPR-based methods developed for genetic modification. Base editing allows for precise single base changes in DNA. In the transition of the pyrimidine cytosine to the pyrimidine thymine, in other words, conversion of the cytosine guanine base pair to a thymine adenine base pair, a guide RNA, a modified Cas9 recombinase, a cytidine deaminase, and an inhibitor of uracil DNA glycosylase are involved. The guide RNA leads Cas9 recombinase to a specific locus based on complementary base pairing. The modified Cas9 recombinase, Nikki's Cas9 or NCAS9, creates a single stranded break instead of double stranded breaks, thus reducing the probability of unintended mutations. The single stranded break created by Cas9 on the strand not being edited forces the cell to use the strand with the edit as the template for repair. The cytidine deaminase fused to the end terminus of the NCAS9 protein modifies cytosine to uracil directly, that is, without a donor template. The inhibitor of uracil DNA glycosylase integrated with the NCAS9 at the C-terminus prevents base excision repair by uracil and glycosylase which changes the uracil back to a cytosine base. The uracil now present due to the modification of cytidine deaminase is converted to thiamine through DNA repair or replication. Another base transition edit, that of the purine adenine to the purine guanine, was enabled by engineering a transfer RNA adenosine deaminase to act on DNA. The engineered adenosine deaminase converts adenine to inosine. This inosine is subsequently read or replicated as guanine by a polymerase, culminating in the direct transformation of AT base pairs into GC base pairs. Base editors involving transversions are also being developed. In the cytosine to guanine base editor, a NCAS9 is fused to a cytidine deaminase and a uracil DNA glycosylase. The guide RNA places the base editor at the targeted site. Cytidine deaminase converts the cytosine to a uracil, while uracil and glycosylase eliminates the uracil from the DNA and creates an abasic site. The abasic site creation, coupled with nicking at the non-edited strand by NCAS9, initiates DNA repair and replication, leading to a favored insertion of guanine at the abasic site. But improvements on DNA modification tools are still required to extend the type of modifications, improve efficiency, and reduce off-target mutation rates.